welcome to my channel. I am a budget mama based in the UK and my little family of three is working to a cash budget to help keep control of our finances. In my Wednesday video I mentioned that we were trying to save a little bit of money by doing a bit of a bulk shop from a place called Rogers in Manchester and there have been a few people saying that they'd like a bit more information, maybe see what we've bought and how much we've spent. Um, just to get an idea of whether it's worthwhile them visiting. I know for a lot of people it might be a bit of a drive. For us it's about a 50 minute drive. But we do find that it's worth it based on how much we save shopping there compared to shopping full price at the supermarkets. So I'm just going to quickly run through. I don't want to make a very long video. I just want a quick video just showing you what we've bought and how much each item has cost so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through them, I'm going to tell you what the item is, how much of the item we bought and how much that works out per unit price. And I've also had a quick look online just to see what the recommended retail price is of each item. So it gives you an idea of the savings that we've made by shopping at Rogers. Now if you don't know what Rogers is, it's like a big warehouse store, uh, you do have to buy in bulk for most items and they do specialise in items that are either close to or just past their best before date. So I'm just going to very quickly run through what we got. The first thing we bought were these um, Off the Eaton Path rice and pea chips. They're kind of like little mini rice cakes, they're just salted and we got a box of eight of these smaller boxes. So there's 120 grams in each of these smaller boxes and we got eight of these for £3.50 which works out at 44p per box, so per individual box like this. When I had a quick look online I saw them selling in Sainsbury's for £1.50 per box and on Ocado they were £2.25 per box, so that was a big saving on those. The next thing we got and I was... Oh, I was very excited when I saw these. I am sorely tempted to go back and get more because they're really tasty. Um, with these pumpkin spice flavoured shreddies. They taste, oh, they're amazing. They taste gorgeous. Um, there were seven individual boxes inside the packet that we bought. Uh, they're 460 grams per box and it was five pounds for the seven for the seven boxes, making them 71p each. Because they're a limited edition, nowhere has them for sale at the moment. The only place I've seen them is eBay and another budget food shop, like an online budget food shop. Um, eBay is selling them that case of seven boxes it's selling that case for £18.99p instead of the £5 that we paid and the online kind of, it was called Cut Price Berries uh, and they were selling the individual boxes for £1.25 each whereas we got them for £71p each. The only bad thing about buying those is that my daughter also loves them so that's why I'm thinking of going back and getting more because she wants them for pudding, she wants them for breakfast, she eats them dry for a snack and I am not getting many for myself. <laughs> uh, next thing we got was some bags of multi-seed oat granola. It's a brand called Kelkin. I'm not really seeing this brand in the shops but we got a case of 12 bags. Each bag is 450 grams. We got a case of 12 bags for four pounds. So each bag works out at 33p per bag, which for granola, if you eat granola regularly, even like the Aldi and little own brand granolas work out at about, I think about one pound 50 a bag now. Um, and when I looked online, I only saw these on sale abroad so it was 4.75 4 euros 75 per bag or there's another budget food store called approved food who is selling two bags for one pound 50 which makes them 75p a bag instead of 33p like we paid next oh god this is very very heavy um 
So the next thing, I'm embarrassed by this one because, well, it was three kilograms of sliced green olives. Um, it's a Polish brand. Um, I've not seen them in the store. Maybe they might be in a local, um, maybe you might see them in a local Polish store, but they are just sliced green olives. Uh, it's three kilograms or the drained weight is one point five six kilograms and that massive tin cost me a pound so not only buzz off fly so not only did I get three kilograms of olives I, I actually got six because I bought two tins because I they freeze they freeze fine if you ever see like a, a really good deal on olives or something or if you see them reduced at you know like the ones you can get off um, the deli counter? If you see them reduced, you can actually whack them in your freezer and they freeze and they defrost fine. Um, so yeah, I have, I'm even gonna embarrass myself even more because I bought some the last time we went and I've eaten a tub that I took out of the tin and I froze about four fifths of the tin. So now I have, I don't even know how much that would be like I've probably got about eight kilograms of olives something like that um yeah so but for a pound how could I say no really the next thing we got was uh, a couple of cases of Morrison's apple and blackcurrant squash uh, it's the double concentrate so you need very little um and we got we got two cases of eight bottles for it was four pound a case. So each bottle works out at fifty p each. And on the Morrison's website, uh, each bottle is one pound nineteen. I think they've changed the design of the label. I think that's why they were selling these off cheap because they've changed the packaging. They're getting rid of all the old stock. Um, but yeah, fifty p. 50p a bottle, it's a one and a half litre bottle, that's gonna, and we've got 16 of them, so, <laughs> so that's gonna last us just a little while, hopefully. So next we have some packet rice, it's the brand Twisted, and we got the Singapore Aromatic and the West African Jollof, forgive me if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Um, and so these were separate. We got a box of these. There were 11 in a box and each bag is 105 grams. And then we got a box of those. Again, there were 11 in a box and each bag is 105 grams. And each box cost us three pounds, which made each packet of rice 27p each. Um, I have not seen this brand on sale when I'm looking at like the recommended retail prices, I'm only having kind of a very quick look online. Um, the only places I could see this brand for sale were, uh, I saw them on sale in Walmart in the US for a dollar a packet. Or again, I saw them on another reduced food online store in the UK called Approved Food, and they were selling them for 79p a packet instead of the 27p that we paid. If I'm doing rice on the side for all three of us, I will do two packets unless we've got a, another side to go with whatever we're eating. Um, so 54p for rice for a meal is very good. I know I can probably buy, you know, regular white rice and cook it myself, but it's not going to be as tasty or as convenient as they are. Uh, they only take about 10 minutes in total to cook as well, which is convenience I like that <laughs> um the next thing which kind of goes with the rice were these boxes of uh, tofu curry um I was concerned when I first saw it because I always thought this I, I don't want to pronounce it because I'm going to pronounce it wrong and be laughed at I always thought that this type of curry had uh, cottage cheese in it or something well that's what my mum said anyway but they are labelled vegan and it does it is tofu in there um so we got a box of no we got two boxes two boxes of these there were 10 packets in a box 
each packet is 280 grams and a box cost us three pounds so it's 30p per packet and that gives two portions so if i want to do curry for dinner for the three of us i will use two of those two of those and it will be dinner for three for about one pound 14 which is fantastic and even bigger bonus they both taste really good as well and these are really convenient to cook as well inside the box there is a bag and you just boil the bag in water uh, for about three to five minutes so it's a 10 minute meal and it's cheap as well which is fantastic so we may try and go back and get more of both of those because they're really good and we like them the curry i have seen on sale in asda um not physically seen but on the website for one pound 25 per box instead of 30p that we paid next thing we got um were some of these serene vegums i think they're called so they're a fruit and vegetable serene bar um and we've we've bought them from rogers in the past they used to have the beetroot and berry and then they have the carrot and orange as well we always got the carrot and orange because i was worried about the beetroot being overpowering sometimes it's quite a an earthy flavor and i wasn't sure how well we'd like that but they're really tasty we got them this time because my daughter loves them and they're a really handy snack and they work out really cheap so we did take a gamble and we got a packet well we got a box of these and these come in packs of five i don't ha i've decanted them all into our snack box so i don't have the actual pack of that the five come in uh but we got a box which had eight of those packs of five so there's 40 individual cake bars and the box cost us four pounds so each packet cost us 50p and each bar cost us 10p um, I've seen those packs of fives in Tesco um, for 99p a packet so we've got them for half price or I've seen them on Asda for £1.75 per packet of five so we are well under half price next thing we got was some of this uh, tonic it's the brand Merchant's Heart and we got a box of 24 bottles and box crate whatever uh, they're 200 ml bottles and the box cost us four pounds so each bottle was only 17 pence uh, and it's really tasty tonic they did various different flavors so this was just the uh the light tonic they did your standard um full fat tonic um they also did a hibiscus flavor i think it was and they also did a pink peppercorn flavor tonic as well if you like that flavor um the only place i've seen this brand on sale is on sainsbury's website and they're selling them for 70p per bottle and we got them for 17p per bottle so that was a really good bargain um i only bought one box for us but I did get two more boxes for my brother and his girlfriend. Uh, what's next? I, this was supposed to be really quick and I am <laughs> rambling on. I'm trying to get through them as quick as possible. Uh, the next thing we got, this is gonna seem really silly, but we got some decorate your own gingerbread Christmas tree decoration things. And I'm not gonna decorate them unless we've got some left for Christmas. I'm not going to decorate them i got them because you get 27 very large ginger biscuits in here and they're really tasty we've had them before and you get two boxes for three pounds so you get let's see if i can oh let's see if i can get them out if we can see the size of them standard 400 ml tin so each biscuit is a roughly the size of a 400 ml tin they're really big they're nice and thick and they're delicious um and you get 54 biscuits for three pounds which i thought was a pretty good deal um if you did want so i can't really compare them to anything else 
If you did want to compare them to other decorate your own Christmas tree decoration biscuit things, uh, Wilco does a similar sized box, or has done, I saw them on the website, a similar sized box for about £7.50 a box, or Lakeland do a box of just, it's just four gingerbread Christmas trees that you decorate, um, and that box was £2.99. Um, so, I mean, I thought they were a deal for the size of the biscuits and how nice they are, but if you were comparing them for, if you wanted decorations to decorate with your kids or something, I still think they're a really good deal. So that was two boxes for three quid. And also, if you are super thrifty, the, uh, the cardboard box is really sturdy, so I'm keeping my cardboard boxes and I'm just going to cut at an angle and kind of have little inserts from my bookcase to... I don't know, shove stuff in. Hide my mess, that's what I'm doing. Another good little um, crafty thing to do with your kids because they can help you decorate the box as well or paint it or whatever. Do excuse my cat, he's playing kaplunk with his food again so if it keeps sounding like things are falling on the floor it's because he's just, he's playing kaplunk. <laughs> so the next thing that we bought were these Oh, they're really tasty. Bags of uh, Walker's Sensations non chips. They had the lime pickle and they had the garlic and herb. Both flavours are delicious. Um, each bag is 150 grams and you get four bags for £2. So they work out at 50p a bag. Um, I've seen them online selling on Tesco's website for £1.99 a bag or I've seen them on Sainsbury's website for £1.50 a bag. So 50p a bag is fantastic and they're really tasty. Downside is, they're really unhealthy. <laughs> so not great for your waistline, very good for your pocket. Hey Tex, you done? You done playing kaplunk? Right, um, next we have... Some Paw Patrol ice lollies. Uh, my daughter's just got into Paw Patrol. Uh, I hate it. It's awful. I don't like it at all, but she loves it. She thinks it's hilarious, especially when people fall over and hurt themselves. Um, but we got four bags of ice lollies. There are ten ice lollies per bag, and we got four bags for £1.50, which makes them 38p per bag, or 4p per ice lolly. Which in the summer is fantastic because my daughter loves having a nice lolly just as a bit of a snack, a bit of a treat to cool down. Um, I've seen these online. Um, Amazon has them. They're at four ninety nine for three bags. Um, or there's a website called So Sweet Shop, I think it was, um, and they were a pound bag. So thirty eight p per bag was very good. And um, next we have, we got Rockstar, um, I, it's the original flavour with no sugar, I don't really drink them myself but my husband likes them, especially on the days where he's travelling for work and he's got a very long day, he's up early and he doesn't get in till late. Excuse you Texas, shush. Oh buddy, he wants to go in the garden and he's an indoor cat. So he's not really supposed to go outside, but we do sometimes let him go outside with one of us. So he can't go out right now, but I'll take him out when I'm done. Um, sorry, distracted. Uh, yeah, so if my husband's travelling for work, he does like to have energy drink in the car just in case he's, he's flagging a bit while he's driving. Uh, so we got two cases of 12 cans. Uh, for £6 per case. So that works out 50p per can. Um, when I looked online, I saw them selling on Ocado for £15 for a case of 12 um, instead of the six that we paid, or I saw them on Pop Supermarket at £12 per case, so a pound a can, which we got at half price compared to that. Next thing... This one, I'm not sure if I regret this or not. Um, so Green's Quick Gel, orange flavour, maybe. 
uh, possibly just the colour. I don't know if it's got any flavour in it. Um, it is, as far as I could tell, it is vegan because the gelling agents are carrageenan, not gelatin. Um, and you can make very quick and easy desserts. And I thought it would be really handy for the likes of trifle or just doing a quick kind of fruit and jelly dessert thing. I don't know. I might not use it, but I hope I do because I got 24 of those double packets for three quid. So we could, it was a, a big case, 24 of these and each of these has two packets so you can I can do 48 desserts for three pounds which makes each double packet 13 p each um, when I was looking online I didn't see the orange flavor color whatever but in um, Tesco and Asda they had the red one and just one of those packets was 50 p so yeah really good bargain um and you know we'll just make trifle and fruit jelly and stuff i don't know i'll find a use for it i'm quite quite good at doing that finding a use for things that maybe aren't terribly useful to most people um next thing i got um so these are jars of uh, grilled aubergine. I'm going to be honest, I didn't buy these for me. I bought them for my mum. Uh, she loves aubergine. I like aubergine as well, but not quite as much as she does. She likes making, um, I don't remember what it's called. The, there's like a dip. Uh, it's like a Middle Eastern dip made of aubergine. I'm going to have to Google it and put it on the screen. Um, but yeah, she loves aubergine, uh, and there was a case of six jars for two pounds for the case, which made each jar 33 p each. I couldn't find these online to find out what the RRP is, um, but 33p a jar, most of the Sackler, um, like the jars of pesto and stuff, they're at least a pound a jar, if not more. So I figure 33p a jar is pretty good and I don't know. I swapped my mum a jar of these for a packet of the, the tofu curry thing. Um, just because, again, I feel like I could find a use for jars of grilled aubergines. I'm just not sure what. I might put it on pizza. That sounds good. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Uh and the last thing that we got was a case of coconut milk. Um, I use coconut milk in a lot of things. I use it in curries, I use it in chia pudding, I use it in baking and cooking and all sorts. So we, we can get through a lot of coconut milk. I don't often buy it because it's quite expensive. You used to be able to get a tin of coconut milk for 50p and it's now gone up. So I think the average is about a pound a tin. But I got a case of 24 tins of coconut milk. These are the 400 ml cans. And I got a case of 24 for five pounds, which makes them 21p per tin. So I'm gonna be eating a lot of chia pudding. Um, I had a look. I did see this brand of coconut milk online. Uh, one size had it for two pound 10. I've not made a note of what site that was. Another site had it for £1.10, but it was sold out and those prices were per tin. Um, normally coconut milk, like I say, is about a pound a can. So 21p a can is a real bargain. And we will use it. Um, and it's really good. Uh, I've opened one tin already. Um, it's got a high fat content. content. Because when I opened the tin, there was a, a layer of coconut cream that had separated out on the top. Your cheaper brands of coconut milk, I find, don't have as high a fat content. So you don't end up with that separation. Um, and that's really handy. You can do like uh, whipped coconut cream on the top of hot chocolate and stuff. Or you can use it as a whipped cream alternative if you are dairy intolerant or awkward vegans like us. 
Um, so that is everything that we got. Uh, where's my receipt? So we spent in total, oh my God, that's embarrassing. We spent £85.50. But some of that was for family, not much, but some. Um, it is very easy to spend a lot of money and I made the mistake of going in and not kind of keeping track on my phone how much we were spending and it was just like, oh, I'll have that and I'll have that and I'll find a use for that and it can all go on the trolley and hmm, that looks like a good deal. Let's get three of those. Um, yeah. <laughs> so we spent a lot of money, but we have food and snacks and pantry stuff that's going to last us for months. Um, and I need to try not to go back and buy more anytime soon. So thank you so much for watching this. If you got this far, I really appreciate it. I hope that if you do try out Rogers, you find a bargain. Um, obviously, we have quite a restricted diet. We are vegan. We don't eat a lot of things. So if you don't have any restrictions to your diet, then there will be a lot more things that you can buy from Rogers. Um, we are quite restricted in what we can buy when we visit just because we are vegan. Um, there aren't a lot of things there that fit with our diet um, but if you have a look if you google Rogers Wholesale in Manchester um, you can find a link to their website they do have things on their website uh, they also have a Facebook page where they regularly update what they have in store so if you are traveling away to come and visit then have a look on the Facebook page first um, I think the day that we went um, they I looked on the Facebook page and they'd done like a walkthrough of the whole store that morning. Uh, they'd done a little live video or something just showing everything that they had in store. Um, and I literally saw the Paw Patrol ice lollies and thought, yep, gonna go get some of those because <laughs> my daughter had just got into Paw Patrol. So I knew she'd love them and they were they were a pretty good deal at uh, four packets for £1.50. Um, this video is in no way sponsored by Rogers Wholesale in Manchester, although if they do see this video and would like to, you know, pay me to promote them, I would be more than happy to do so. Although I don't think anybody sponsors YouTube channels that have 180 subscribers. I personally think it's a really good place to go, especially if you're uh, stocking up your pantry or your cupboards. Um, I think it's a really good place to go and have a look. Um, it's just off the M60, so it's really easy to find. And I'll put on screen the park that we went to afterwards where we found the orchard and picked six kilograms of apples after visiting Rogers. Because uh, that was really fun to do and I now have uh, apple pie, apple crumble, apple sauce. Uh, I've still got a bag of apples and we've got apple wine on the go as well. So um, just an added bonus of our trip to Rogers. So thank you so much again for watching. I really do appreciate absolutely every single one of you. Let me know if you do visit Rogers, show me your haul, send me a picture or something, um, and just let me know what kind of deals you got. Cause I'm always, I always wanna go, but cause it's a little bit of a drive, we can't go too often. We can only really go when we've got space to put stuff which is also a problem about going there too often. <laughs> so I will catch up with you in the next video, guys. Take care and happy budgeting.